This is an NEC 35D01. They also have ones without the 01. And it looks like a hybrid between a PC Engine CD-ROM ROM drive and a Turbo CD drive. And it's not. It's actually meant for PCs. Had its own dock or buffer unit as they called it. The BFU30. And it fits and powers on with an IFU30 briefcase or a Turbo CD dock like you see here. But it doesn't actually work. It, uh, well, it works for like playing CDs. Like right now it's got a CD pause. Let's see if you hit run. It just says just a moment and never actually loads anything, even when you have a game in there. I'm going to go ahead and reset that, because I'm going to demonstrate a different issue. I'm going to unpause it. Yeah, as you can see, I wasn't even touching the drive itself. I was just getting close to it. And if I stay there long enough, it'll just go all the way back. It'll like mess up and go back to track one. And uh, there's, I guess, just proximity will trigger it. Like even if I don't touch the dock itself, if I'm just hovering nearby, you'll hear it. So I don't know if that's a problem only with this drive or if some CD-ROM ROMs or Turbo CD drives have that problem. And if anybody's ever heard of that or knows what to do, I'd like to know. But obviously my laser works. It plays CDs just fine. The only issue is when I get close to it, that happens. And um, so yeah, the inability to load games has nothing to do with um, the laser being bad. I've actually gone through, compared all the ICs between this one and uh, PCC to ROM ROM and uh, noted the differences. So I hope to go back and see if um, maybe swapping one or two ICs might get this to behave more like a turbo CD drive or a CD ROM ROM. And um, just so that we don't have to actually you know, just rehouse a broken um, CD ROM ROM drive with it to make it functional. But I do plan to paint it black so it'll be at least closer to this color and uh, be a better match than I had before with the uh, CD ROM ROM drive. Where, yeah, it, it's immediately obvious that it's different because it has a window on the front side instead of across the top. And uh, let's see, I still haven't heard from old school about. Um, whether or not they've fixed this the problem that we had with this yet, but I can go. Okay, uh, cut myself off there. Anyway, um, I'm gonna reach out to old school, see if they've got their revised controllers available yet, so I can try one of those, and I'll give you guys an update. But uh, let's see, I switched CDs during that cut. Um, now I've got a CDR in here, the Castlevania Dracula X Rondo of Blood, and it's playing it as an audio track since this drive, of course, doesn't read it as a CD-ROM. And, um, but it's far, the problem that I demonstrated earlier is far more demonstrable with this. I don't know if it's because of it being a CDR or what, but maybe it's just because it's been on longer. But now I can show you that it, I, from much farther away it has the problem. <laughs> yeah, see, reset all the way to track one. Very strange.